My name is Moldover. I make music and musical instruments. For the last two or three years, I've been doing performances uh, where I sing. It's mostly uh, songs uh, that I've written and I'm performing them with vocals, which I didn't do before. And as I expected, that's a thing that the audiences respond to really well. Yesterday I did a, uh, a little performance and presentation for the students at Berkeley Valencia and I talked about I think everything in my entire professional career, um, some of it more than others. I guess there was more of a focus on the technical side of making instruments because I know a lot of students in the MTI program have already designed and built their own controllers and I don't know a lot of groups of people who have done that so um, it was interesting for me to to, to show them what I've done and, and answer questions and interact with them about their own instruments. I started doing uh, like collages of other people's sounds because part of the challenge when you're manipulating sounds in a way that people have never seen or heard before is to help them understand it, so if you use a familiar sound. Controllerism mostly came out of my desire to communicate the kind of way I was performing music to a broader audience. I was really inspired by software like Ableton Live um, to start making music just by myself with a computer and a controller and uh, just found it difficult um, to show audiences how this new kind of instrument worked and borrowed a lot of inspiration from turntablists and uh, that's part of where the, the word came from is realizing that the controller was uh, a new musical instrument kind of like the turntable and uh, controllerists would be this new generation of music makers much like turntablists were. I've been out of Berkeley for a long time now. Um, when I was there, they had a program called Music Synthesis, which has since become EPD, so I know things have changed. For me, it was a really, really eye-opening experience, so that was a major shift in, for me as a musician from much more traditional stuff to having my, eye, my eyes open to incredible variety and the possibilities of technology. I think to stay on top of the industry and especially with music technology which rapidly changes it's just to be open-minded about the definition that you give to music and music making. I think the more open-minded you are uh, as far as your definitions of those things you know and how you can connect to them uh, the better.